went to a shooting outside a Minneapolis mall. Shots were fired last night, and within the last few hours, police say they've caught the man they believe is the shooter. Carla Hall joins us with the latest. Julie and Rena, Muslim leaders and Minneapolis police are calling this a tragic crime that hurt a legend. And they also note it happened outside the very Northside Mosque, known for being a place of hope and safety to the greater community. If the masjid and new developments linked to a shooting outside a Minneapolis mosque. Shots were fired last night, and within the last few hours, police say they caught the man they believe is the shooter. Carla Holt joins us with the latest. Julie and Rena, Muslim leaders and Minneapolis police are calling this a tragic crime that hurt a legend. And they also note it happened outside the very Northside Mosque, known for being a place of hope and safety to the greater community. If the Masjid Noor Mosque is known for its mission of sharing hope, where we were serving the community, then leaders say 75-year-old Abdul Kareem is one of their most revered ambassadors. A most beloved person, you all would love him. Last night, according to police and leaders of the local chapter of the Council on American Islamic Relations, Abdul Kareem walked out of the mosque with his team to discover what police say was a person doing a drug deal. That's when leaders say Abdul Kareem and another mosque member approached the person. He had some words, drove off, and then subsequently made a U-turn and came back um, and opened fire. Abdul Kareem was struck three times, leaders say, in the shoulder and arm but is stable and recovering from surgery. That, while Minneapolis police say they believe they already have the person responsible for the attack. So that as of this afternoon, we have a person uh, in custody on unrelated charges that we believe is the shooter. But even with the threat removed, leaders here say they're still reeling from a tragedy at a place of hope, targeting a beloved leader. Because one of us goes down and a whole lot of us stand up. And you can't take everybody out in this community. Right? What he did yesterday, we believe, is a heroic act. Now, leaders say they have noticed a jump in crime in the community recently. They say they'd already planned safety meetings around that jump, and this crime just adds to the urgency. Meantime, the Minneapolis police chief is also pledging more patrols in the area. But again, Rena and Julie, they say they have the person responsible for this crime. All right, thank you, Carla.